China, as you say, has been in the headlines. It's been in the politics, Joe Paul, etc. And it's so noisy out there, even in the equity space. But if you look at the bond market itself, it's almost as if we are in the eye of the storm. Um, if you look at yields, for instance, they started the year at about 315 in the 10 years CGB market, went up to as high as you know 330, we're now at 320. So it's just a five basis points higher move year to date. You compare that to say the US, went from 92 basis points all the way up to about 174. Uh, and now we're settling about 160. And if you compare both markets, of course, you know, the volatility that we're seeing in China is a lot lower. Um, to be fair, I think in this part of the cycle, China fixed income feels to be in the sweet spot. Um, it feels like to be, you know, having some sort of a safe haven in this environment. Um, but to be fair, you know, I think uh, they did have that sell off last year. Right. OK, so you'd say right now it's more of a sweet spot than a safe haven. So what would you put down its relative lack of volatility to, at least when I say relative, in other words, relative to, say, other emerging markets and developed markets, bond markets? Sure. Let's uh, also just think back where China is in the economic cycle. I mean, to be very fair, um, Chinese bonds did have a tough second half of 2020. You know, 10-year yields did dip all the way down to about 240, um, and then it rebounded all the way back into November, almost 100 basis points higher to just under 340. So the China bond market did sell off last year, and that was on the back of, you know, better economics, um, first, in, first out of the crisis. And where we are right now in the economic cycle, China clearly is, a, a, I think, way ahead in terms of having dealt with COVID and is now dealing with some of the structural issues like debt overhang, trying to invigorate consumption, et cetera. So they had their sell off already. Um, but on the other hand, I think, you know, the rest of the world right now, of course, is getting out of COVID and the U.S. very decisively so. So naturally, we would see U.S. use catch up higher. Um, but at the same time, we just, you know, we think of fixed income, um, just consider the assets, right? It is an A plus, A1 rated country, the largest um, creditor, official creditor in the world. So if you just think of balance sheets, you think of conventional monetary policy, the running of fiscal policy, this is actually a very conventional bond market that behaves, you know, as as a very, you know, uh, safe haven in periods of weak growth. But also when, you know, growth is picking up, uh, it would weaken as you would expect as we saw last year.